Hey Hart fans, what is up? Butch Hartman here, I'm so glad you guys are here with me. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below because you'll get to practice your hitting. Always fun to practice hitting. So, nit 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 Nick. Right, remember that, Nickelodeon? I worked there for 20 years, it was amazing. You guys probably aren't even 20 years old, so basically if you're under 20, I worked there your entire life, how about that? So anyway, while I was there, I was doing Fairly Odd Parents, Danny Phantom, Tough Puppy, and Bunsen is a Beast, all the animated stuff. A ton of other animated shows occurred while I was there, but there were also a lot of live action Nickelodeon shows there during my time there, and they were some of the most iconic shows Nickelodeon ever did. So I thought it'd be kind of fun to take live action Nickelodeon shows and draw them as cartoons in the Fairly Odd Parents style. So here we go. Show number one, Drake and Josh. Yeah, doing Drake and Josh as cartoon characters, at first I thought, well, this would be hard, but you know what? They're sort of cartoon characters to begin with. I mean, Drake was even in, you know, three Fairly Odd Parents live action movies. So turning him into a cartoon was a lot of fun. And then I thought, I'll just, you know, I gotta do Josh as a cartoon because they're kind of cartoon characters anyway. There's all this slapstick stuff they get into in the show. The written lines are great. They get into a lot of cartoony situations. And so I thought I would do them, you know, playing a musical number together. I think it's really, really cool. And I had to put the Fairly Odd Parents in there too, because I mean, come on. Cosmo wanted his drums, Drake and Josh. It just, it's perfect. So here we go. Drake and Josh as cartoons. All right, Drake and Josh. One of my favorite shows uh, that my kids used to watch. Actually, super, super funny. Uh, and Drake Bell and Josh Peck are awesome on that show. I actually know Drake Bell pretty well. We did a couple movies together, the Fairly Odd Parents live action movies where he played the live action version of Timmy Turner. And uh, click on the link to check out Speech Bubble, my podcast channel. I just had Drake on there as a guest recently. And we talk all about music, movies, all the stuff that we love. And he was an awesome guest and loved having him on there, so check that out too. Okay, next up, another live action Nickelodeon show is Legends of the Hidden Temple. Here is Olmec in the Fairly Odd Parent style. Okay, Legends of the Hidden Temple. Now, I never really watched this show, I have to admit, it's being real, but how do you turn a live action kids game show into a cartoon? Like, if I were to make this into a cartoon, what would I do? What would the series be all the time? I think it'd be this one guy, maybe one character always trying to get into the Hidden Temple, and getting something out of it each and every time, but he barely escapes. It's like it's like doing Indiana Jones, Raiders of the Lost Ark over and over and over again. But I think it'd be really funny if this one kid, I mean, every episode, he's gotta get something new out of the temple in order to lift the temple curse or something, but it's only one thing at a time, which will give us a lot of you know episodes for the series. So I think uh, doing that as a series would be a lot of fun. I do love the Indiana Jones uh, aspect of this idea. I love the, you know, the 1930s serial, uh, movie serial idea, so I think this would be a lot of fun. Legends of the Hidden Temple, as an animated show, look out. Olmec, he's very hidden in the Fairly Odd Parent style. All right, coming up next, we're gonna do two guys who are super funny, they like good burgers. Hello, Good Burger, home of the Good Burger, may I take your order? It's Keenan and Kel in the Fairly Odd Parent style. Okay, Keenan and Kel, now how do you turn these guys into animated characters and how do you turn them into an animated show? I mean, what do you do? They already had a great show on TV, on Nickelodeon. They're very animated already. They're very cartoony dudes. I would probably call it the animated adventures of Keenan and Kel. And I'm I'm starting off here with one of their most famous adventures, the Good Burger movie. You know, I think really you could probably base the whole series in the burger stand and I just think you know, cartoony situations could arise out of it. They could make, you know, 50 foot hamburgers. They could make ham they could make a thousand hamburgers in one day. The hamburger machine goes nuts and just keeps making hamburgers. One day they make hot dogs. They can't figure out why. It's gotta stop. What goes on? Anyway, Keenan and Kel Animated would be a lot of fun. I think you could change it up quite a bit, but these guys are awesome. All right, that was Keenan and Kel in Good Burger, and I can almost smell the awesomeness coming up from my drawing tablet. That's a good burger. Okay, coming up next is one of the most recent uh, live action Nickelodeon shows. It involves an actual superhero, a live action superhero. So I'm gonna turn him into a cartoon. He's already been turned into a cartoon as well, but I'm turning him into a fairly odd parent style cartoon. Here is Henry Danger, check it out. Henry Danger, now Henry Danger has already been turned into an animated cartoon by Nickelodeon, and I, again, must admit, have not seen much of that show. I did see them designing it when I was at Nickelodeon. And um, I'm just kind of basing my designs on um, a, a real literal translation of what they would look like as cartoon characters. But this is an easy one. This is a superhero cartoon. I think it'd be just a lot of fun. I would enhance Henry's powers a little bit. I'd give them tons more gadgets. You could put them in a lot more perilous situations because of the freedom that animation gives you. So this one would be a blast. Henry Danger as an animated series. 
All right, Henry Danger. Now, do you guys like Henry Danger as a cartoon in the Fairly Odd Parent style or in the cartoon style that it's currently drawn in? Let me know down in the comment section below. I'm hearing things. I just want to hear what people prefer, you know? All right, the last live action Nickelodeon show to be drawn in the Fairly Odd Parent style is the one, the only, featuring my good pal, my good buddy, my Hollywood friend, Jerry Trainer. He was the voice on Tough Puppy. I'm dropping so many Hollywood names today that they're just falling everywhere. Um, Jerry Trainer as the older brother Spencer in iCarly. Here we go in the Fairly Odd Parent style. Check it out. Okay, now iCarly. Now, uh, this one's got a special place in my heart because Jerry Trainer is a good friend of mine and uh, he already lends himself to being a cartoon. He's already been a cartoon in Tough Puppy. He played Dudley Puppy and he uh, is also Commander Cone in Bunsen is a Beast, my other show. So, love working with Jerry. And uh, I, I think you really got to cartoon this show up. I mean, these guys have a web series. They are, they're going to have YouTube videos. They're going to have everything on the internet. I think they have a whole little uh, business going. And um, I do think they got, I, I think we just make it a Scooby-Doo type of mystery solving thing almost, where they got to crack some internet crime all the time. And I think it's Jerry and the Ostrich are the leads. I think it's like Scooby and Shaggy, Jerry and the Ostrich. I and mean, I think the spaghetti tacos are the Scooby snack of this show. And so, you know, Carly, Sam and Freddy, or like the sidekick. It's, it, it really, if you look at this, it's the modern day Scooby-Doo with an internet twist. I think it'd be very, very cool. So iCarly has a mystery solving show. And the real mystery is, can we get Jerry to just tone it down? I don't think we can. All right, everybody, there you go. Live action Nickelodeon shows drawn in the Fairly Odd Parent style. Which one was your favorite? And what other live action shows should I draw as cartoons? They could be Nickelodeon shows, Disney shows. Leave a comment down in the comment section below. Happy to draw whatever you guys want because that's what we're here for at the Butch Harmon channel. We're here to please you guys, you guys, you guys. That was an echo. Check it out. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That's two things you get to hit. All right, guys, don't forget, art gives you power. Use it wisely. Hey, Heart fans, subscribe here to keep up with me, Danny, Timmy, Dudley, Bunsen, and the Noob Network, my new app full of cartoons, shows, and games. Download it here. Click over here to watch my most recent video and here to start a playlist related to this video. Whoa, check out that awesome fan art. To be featured here, use hashtag heartfanart and tag me. I'm on every social media platform known to man. Cartoon Butch out. Pencil drop.